You know, Nietzsche once asked the question, is water wet? Or to quote the original German, Eist Wesser Nass. Undoubtedly, this is a complex question with layers of nuance because it really depends on how you define water. For example, if you have a moose in the hoose and that moose falls into a fountain, it's wet beyond the very shadow of a doubt because it's covered in cum. I mean water. Apologies. I'm just thinking of the sorry state of that moose. But can water itself be covered in a liquid? Well, that all depends on what water is. If water refers to the whole, it can't get wet, or at least isn't wet by default. There are exceptions, like when there's an oil spill or when someone, you know, comes in the pool as they do. I can so vividly recall the day I drank a bottle of water and almost drowned myself. Over and over again, my wife said, Jordan, calm down, it's just hiccups. Silly woman, what is a hiccup but a hick cough, or a cough from a hick, and what is a cough but a voluntary immune response? I think not, I responded. I'm experiencing involuntary chest convulsions due to water in my lungs. This Lucy Health System has gone to hell in a handbasket since Trudeau took over, so I was continuously drowning until they put me in a coma in Russia. Back to the definition of water, what this shows is that if we give in to the cultural Marxists and leave everything up to subjective perception rather than objective observation, we're doomed to see the collapse of the arthropod order which the lobsters have built for us. The commentators are going to have a field day with this one.